hey guys how's it going in today's tutorial I'm gonna show you guys how you can create a function that can have a variable number of input arguments now what I mean by that is that while working in Scilab you must have come across some functions such as the plot2d function which has multiple arguments however only two of those are compulsory or necessary and it has quite a few optional arguments so in this video I'm gonna teach you guys how you can create a function that could have like a number of optional arguments or maybe you can say that the function has a variable number of input arguments so to do this we will first of all create a function now let's say our function is called f and it takes up two arguments that is x then y now let's say that this y argument is a variable argument or better yet let me just name it where so the use what we want to do is we want to create a function f which would take up an argument x and an optional argument where and if uh, and then we will have it return some values so let's say I want to return the square of x if the user only in enters one input variable or one input argument to be exact so let's say I want to um, I want this function f to return x square if the user enters only one input argument or I want to use this function to return the sum of x and where if the user inputs or enters both the input arguments so how will I do that is I will make use of a function called argm and that is let me just show you guys what that function is the syntax of the function argn is somewhere like this lhs comma rhs equals argn0 so when you, when this command is or this um, phrase or this code is used inside a function such as this one Mm, what it does is it stores the number of the output variables or output arguments in the variable LHS and it stores the number of input arguments in the num number of input arguments in the variable RHS so once uh, the computer executes this line right here so I will have the number of input arguments in a variable called RHS so now I can make use of that information let's say if RHS equals 2 so that would mean that the user has given me two arguments and as I said that if I have two arguments then I want the function to return the sum of x and where and if the user only entered one argument then I want the function to return the square of x um, let me just get the syntax for it here then is equal to x squared and also sometimes you might want uh, the compute the function to return okay let's not go any further let's just execute this function right now and see what happens okay so just click on the save and execute button and it will prompt me to save my program so I go ahead and save it by the name of where input arguments I guess okay so it's like it's executed now now if I call this function and pass only one argument then what I get is a square However, if I call this function with two arguments, then what I should get is the sum, which is what I have dis um, defined the function to do. So I hope that was pretty easy to understand. And that's how, you know, Scilab has got these radio functions, plot2d and etc, etc, that have a number of optional input arguments. And the use of having an optional number of input arguments is that uh, let's say the primary goal of this function f was to return the square of this of the first variable that is x 
so in that case what I should do is I should put this line a is equal to x because I want this function f to return the square of x anyway I don't care if the number of arguments was one or two I just want it to return the square of x in any case and if the arguments uh, and uh, if the user enters another input argument then I maybe want to enhance the output and maybe provide some more information so let me just put a is equal to x squared right here so that in any case this function is going to return x squared and what I can do is maybe as an enhancement to the value of x squared I can have let's say what I can do to enhance this function maybe if the user enters another input argument then what I can do is I can even get the function to display some value like you entered uh, let me get the spelling straight entered something or whatever so if the user only enters x as an input argument then I will the function will return the square of x However, if there are two input arguments, then it will also read, uh, display some message. So let's take, just ignore the redefining warning and just call the function again with two arguments. And as you can see that I get a display message too. So that's how you can use a variable number of input arguments to do different kinds of things with your function. I hope that was easy to understand and I hope that I made it quite clear and that's it for today thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like these and thank you guys for watching and have a nice day